your Catholic Daily Journal for Sunday, February the 10th, 2019. Today is the feast day of St. Scholastica, the sister of St. Benedict of Nurcia, who founded the Order of St. Benedict. Born A.D. 480, she died today in 543. While many wise sayings are attributed to her by the Benedictines, male and female, the most famous story of her humility and her ferocity involves the end of her life. She was accustomed to visiting her brother, St. Benedict, at a small house near his monastery. They spent the day in conversation and shared a meal. And just as it was time for Benedict to go, she asked him to stay a bit longer. He had a rule that brothers were not allowed to stay away from the monastery overnight, and so he refused. Famously, Scholastica folded her hands in prayer, and immediately a great storm arose. Benedict asked her what she had done, and she said, I asked you, and you would not listen. So I asked my God, and he did listen. So now go off if you can. Leave me and return to your monastery. They stayed up all night talking, and he left the next day. A few days later, Benedict happened to look out of the window of his own monastery, and he was able to see the convent down the road where his sister lived, and he saw her soul leaving from a window there in the form of a dove. He immediately dispatched messengers and had her body moved to his own monastery, where he buried her in the tomb that had been set aside for himself. On the island of Malta, today is the traditional date on which St. Paul was shipwrecked there. The story is recounted in the Acts of the Apostles, chapters 27 and 28, and this is the place where Paul is bitten by the snake but is not poisoned. And then St. Paul works a miracle, and after an unspecified amount of time there on Malta, St. Paul finally makes his way to Rome. In 1306, in southern Scotland, in front of the high altar of Greyfriars Church in Dumfries on the River Nith, Robert the Bruce murdered John Coleman, sparking the revolution in the wars of Scottish independence. For our non-Scottish listeners, Braveheart is only slightly accurate. William Wallace was a warrior for Scottish independence in the 1290s, along with Andrew de Moray and others. They made some headway, but a Scot named John Coleman led them to a general surrender in 1304. And this was, as you would expect, not super popular. So after a year, some folks started looking to get the revolution back on track. Enter Robert the Bruce, who assumed the title King of the Scots, murdered the traitor Coleman, and fought for Scottish independence until his death in 1329. It would take about another 30 years, but by 1357, Scotland was free and independent, and remained that way until the Treaty of Union in 1707, when Scotland and England became Great Britain. Here's a poem for today by Leonora Spire called Song. If I could sing the song of the dawn, the caroling word of leaf or bird, and the sun-waked fern uncurling there, I would go lonely and would not care. If I could sing the song of the dusk, the stars and moon and glistening June, lit at the foot and head of me, the spinner might break the thread of me. And if I could sing but the song of love, fill my heart with each sounding note, Others might kiss and clasp and cling. Mine be the lips that would sing, would sing. Song by Leonora Spire, an American poet and violinist who died today in 1956. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.